Hey everyone, J7Jace here, bringing you a video all about the Arknights of Final Fantasy Tactics. In my opinion, this is by far the most interesting of all the classes in this game, as each one is vastly different from one another from their abilities and looks, despite having the same name. Like usual, we will be taking a look at how each one varies from their equipment options, stats, abilities, and other things about them. So with all that being said, let's get started. The first thing we are going to look at is Zelbag's Arknight, or may I say Arknights, as he actually has two, his normal one and his demon reincarnated one with the inferior face. They are the same for the most part with some differences. For equipment, they both can equip things like the typical knight with things such as swords, knight swords, shields, helmets, heavy armor, and robes, along with most accessories. When it comes to stats and multipliers, Thalbag's first Arknight is pretty solid, especially in HP, PA, and the 4 move is very nice. However, his Lukavi Arknight is even better in nearly all areas, having more HP, MP, magic, and a very noticeable speed and evasion difference, making this version just straight up better. Zalbag has some of the most unique abilities in the game with his Blade of Ruin. For better results with these abilities, make sure Zelbag has a higher fate stat and to use Swiftness or half MP. His first ability, Magic Sap, is like a weaker version of the Dark Knight's Infernal Strike. I don't recommend using this one in most cases. Next ability is Speed Sap. It can cut target speed by 3 and for this reason it is arguably the most useful and the best of his abilities. Fulmar's Lukavi has this ability as well making it less unique than his other abilities. Third, Zalbag has Power Sap, not to be confused with Power Slap. This takes away 5 PA from target, which is downright insane, especially versus enemies in the early game, as most things at this point have around 5 or 6 attack. For the last of his action abilities, we have Mind Sap, which is like Power Sap, but with magic. So this can be useful versus Black Mages. What makes Zelbag especially stand out compared to other starters is that he can also learn Counter for his reaction ability and for his support abilities Concentration, Swiftness, and Safeguard. This makes him extremely unique and I do like this variety compared to the typical Defend, JP Boost, Equip Axes, and Monster Skill. Overall, Zelbag is quite cool. I think he would be very deadly especially in the early game with his power and speed sap as he can completely make enemies useless and hit like wet noodles. I do think these abilities get slightly weaker as stats will start to exponentially increase later on into the game. Overall, I do like the design choices the developers made for him based on his nickname, the Savior of Ivalice, although I would have liked to see him with some abilities that could absolutely shred enemies. I mean, in the canon and lore, he's one of the greatest warriors, but as usual, Gameplay strength doesn't necessarily have to match that. Next, we will be taking a look at the man inspired by Sephiroth, Elmdor. For his equipment options, he is a bit different from the other knights. For his weapon, he can only equip katanas. As usual, he can equip the typical shields, helmets, robes, and heavy armor. But he also has the option for things like hats and clothes, which are better than the heavy equipment line in the post game. Further additional stats and benefits, as this is better than just having HP in my opinion. For his stats and multipliers, it's very solid overall, especially his HP multiplier, jump stat, and even speed. I don't like the base move stat of 3, but I just have to nitpick at something here. Lastly, for his main abilities, they aren't that great for the most part, as he has 4 samurai abilities, Sura, Kotetsu, Osafune, and finally Muramasa, which I recommend the most as it will do the most damage and it can inflict Confuse and Doom. If we were to take into consideration his other unique abilities, Bloodsuck can be pretty solid 
and we can't forget about Master Teleportation or Teleport 2, which lets him go anywhere. And for his hidden support ability in War of the Lions, he has Safeguard. But even though his main Arknight abilities aren't that overpowered, his other skills more than make up for it. Even though I mentioned him in a previous video, I have to include Delita's Arc Knight, which is essentially a Divine Knight. For his equipment, he can equip a variety of weapons, swords, knight swords, knives, and even flails. Like the typical knight, he can equip shields, helmets, heavy armor, and robes. When looking at his stats, even though I feel he is inferior in some areas, I think his speed and base move is what really carries him. And even though his physical attack isn't as high, I found his damage to be more than enough in nearly all cases. To briefly recap his abilities, they are the same as the Divine Knight. These won't work on monsters in the PS1 version, but if you are on War of the Lions, they will. It will still fail though, if an enemy has safeguard. Crush Armor is the strongest, ever so slightly, but use the ability that is best for the situation, such as getting rid of an enemy's weapon if they are a deadly knight. In short, Delita is just a powerhouse. Now when it comes to ranking these four different Arc Knights, this will be difficult and I'm going to take some creative liberties disregarding some abilities, because I'm just imagining how they would play if we could control them in the party. So feel free to disagree with my personal ranking as it might be controversial. In last place, I would have to give it to Elmdor. Even though he has solid stats overall, I feel his 3 move will hinder him and I also think 3 of his 4 abilities in Arc Knight aren't that great, so we will be relying on Mudamasa. I'm just going to disregard Bloodsuck, Master Teleportation, along with his hidden safeguard as I don't think this would ever be available to the player. However, if we were to include these in a ranking, I could see him being ranked in the top spot. For third place, I have to give it to Base Salbag. He isn't bad by any means and has the best reaction and support abilities, but to me, he just isn't as good as the other two left on this list. Which takes us to the second spot, Bukabi Zalbag or Zombag. He is just better than the Base Salbag in all areas, stat wise and even comes with blood suck. Too bad his face looks like it caught on fire and somebody put it out with an axe. And finally, for the top spot would have to be King Delita's Arc Knight. Even though he has inferior stats for the most part, Unyielding Blade is just so strong. On top of this, his PA is more than good enough, not to mention he is also fast and mobile, and I can see him being the most destructive by far. And you can't forget, he has style with that cape. With all that being said, this was my video on all the Arc Knights of Final Fantasy Tactics. Let me know who you like best in the comments or how you would rank them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.